So welcome back guys, Suji here. Hope you guys enjoyed the previous episode. And so how I am going to start this one by ex uh, is by explaining a few things, I guess. So I st want to start working on that 75 mining for plagues. And of course, and the right way for me to train it would be obviously by doing granite and banking it because of my summoning that so I can use it later for crimson charms. So I thought I would go ahead and knock out the dragon pickaxe actually. And to do that, I obviously need to complete the quest forgiveness of drunken dwarf or drunken dwarf or something like that so to do that quest i actually needed one war which is between a rock and if actually i can't skip this dialogue with this guy this quest should be done so please and yeah there we go two quest points five key defense mining and smithing xp and a rune pickaxe and also i think this should be yeah 60 smithing which leaves us actually with all skills 60 plus if we do not count invention and it's nice I guess but yeah uh, now I have all the requirements to go to complete the quest I just mentioned so I will go ahead and knock that one out now as well. And there we go guys quick easy quest for 30k hunter fire making and strength xp and obviously the access to the dwarves area where I can go ahead and try to get that my beautiful dragon pickaxe so yeah oh well so 75 fire making so now i guess let the grind for the dragon pickaxe begin oh yes boys fuck yeah uh i mean uh, uh teleport fuck this shit yes oh my god uh it took me like this is my second bunny summon, so I don't know how long one bunny has, so, but, yeah, I guess that was totally worth it, right? Uh, now we can go on and start that mining grind, yes boy! And there we go guys, another quest completed in Narcos Slum and this time. 70 crafting, magic mining and fire making XP, and the main, obviously, thing is this. This is why I did this quest, because that, that is how I will mine the granite. I guess I can show you guys. First of all, that's Rob and across temple and I should get, should be, oh yeah, beautiful, it just teleports here. So yeah, what I will do, I will mine the granite and I will drop all the pieces except the five kilograms one and after I have pulled inventory, I will just bank and teleport back to this amulet. That way I don't need to waste porters on this place and this is as, as efficient as it can get, I guess. I will bank around 805 kilogram uh, granite of stones, I guess, for summoning, and after that it should be enough. And after that, I guess I'll just drop all the remaining rocks to my way to 75, and we will be done. So anyways, I guess time to start mining. Hey, you guys, I was not expecting this at all. I just sent my morning voyages out, I guess. Well, and I claimed the ones that returned, and... Yeah, I have discovered another region in ports, which is obviously Bowl, or whatever it's called, but yeah, there we go, I guess let's check. I'm not actually entirely sure which region this is, because, well, I don't think it shows it. Oh, it doesn't actually show here, but, well, I guess it, while I'm on it, I can give you guys an update. I am one sprawl away of Deathlord's chest plate as well, and resources-wise, I don't have too much, I guess, for lack of two plates and two koi scales, so that's not much, but yeah, I guess ports are doing great. And that awkward feeling when you deposit your butterflies and get a hunter level, but you are surprised because you haven't done an, any legitimate hunter since, since level 72, and yeah, where the fuck is this XP coming from? So because of some promotion that is going on right now for some zombie walk animation or something like that, the Shades of Morton mini quest is really active right now. And one of my friends suggested that I should go ahead and knock out the sacred, sacred oil for the Mauritania diary and completion escape in the future as well. So I thought, you know, again, I would go ahead and do it. So I spent a few hours and... Wait, where is it? There we go guys, I fucking did it, this another grind I guess is over, so I am ready for that comp cape whenever I decide to go for it I guess. And there we go guys, one more rock should be the first progress sign for us, 
as I said, yes, beautiful, there we go, level 70 mining, so five more levels and we are done with this place, but this is extremely so with the banking method. I hope this gets faster when I am done with this because I only need to bank like 150 more or something, so yeah, I guess let's do this. So I just finished another trip of granite banking and I guess I can show you guys. There we go, I have almost 600 of granite and that will be enough for me to bank. I won't bank anymore because this is uh, close to 3.5k crimson charms, which will be more than enough for me. So now I guess I will go back to granite mining obviously and hopefully we'll power this shit out a bit faster. Okay, so a little change of plans actually. One of my friends offered that I should go ahead and do the bonus points at Cabbage Face, Punts, whatever minigame for bonus mining XP. And so I went ahead and, you know, just finished getting my 1.2k points. And yeah, it's definitely worth it. It's 86.5k XP for something like, what, 40 minutes, I think it took me. So yeah, uh, he said I should be doing this at least until 80 mining. So... Yeah, I think what I will do right now is I'll actually buy the bonus XP, obviously, right? Oh, it's actually even more, but I only could spend... Yeah, so it's 100k plus XP in 40 minutes, so yeah, it's definitely worth it. But yeah, what I will do actually, I think, uh, I will get my daily bonus points at Cabbage Face Punch or whatever, and then I'll just use it. And after I run out, I will just go train agility or whatever the skills I am missing as well, and... That way I will get the mining the most efficient way. So anyways, I will go and use that 108k bonus XP right now. And after that, I guess I'll do some agility or something. And one more rock should do it, you guys. There we go. Level 71 mining. So some progress once again. So for, oh, crystal pickaxe. Not bad. I guess we will get that eventually when we unlock that beautiful LCT soon enough. But now, four more levels, let's do this. And there we go for even more, you guys. So level 72, just three more levels. Still 46k XP, so I think I will honestly just need to do this Cabbage Face minigame tomorrow with the bonus points, and I will have all the bonus XP I needed. So yeah, this will be a lot faster than I thought it. And I just finished my daily challenge, so let's cash it in. And there we go, beautiful, starting the day with a fishing level, level 81 fishing, boys. Hey, and there we go, guys, another mining level. I uh, wasn't paying attention at all, but yeah, I guess two more levels. Hey, you guys, and just cleaning my herbs I have in bank, I guess preparing to get that 75 herb, or even though it's not much that I need to do to get it, but yeah, there we go, I guess, for 74 herb, lore and... These are the herbs, as you guys can see, that I have currently. I'll just need to, you know, make them into vials, and I'll see what I can get out from them. So I decanted all my potions. I guess I can show you guys. There we go. How many unfinished? I, uh, unfinished. I have 700 almost irids, 400 quarms, 300 cadentines, 100 lantadimes, 100 close to dwarf weeds. I already made prayer potions. I have 200 plus of these. Uh, so 200 plus snapdragon potions as well, 500 toad flexes, that one's nice, and 300 more left of Avantos, I am making these right now, so as you guys can see I have quite a lot of supplies and I made some calculations, and I sh actually uh, would be able to get at least 80 herbler with this, but yeah, I guess let's do this one to get 75 first of all, and I think I'll just stop here, I don't want to waste my potions as of now, I don't know, I just... Kind of want to get elf city first after getting my skills higher I guess and, and since 75 is the requirement that i need i think i'll stop here so let's click to check and yeah there we go level 75 herbal is one of the requirements for plagues and so oh i can now clean torso i somehow thought it's a lot higher level but anyways uh that is not bad so all we have left is 75 mining 70 5 Agility and 75 Summoning. As I said, Summoning I do have Bang. Uh, for Mining, I am about to go and do another 600 bonus points in Cabbage Face minigame. And that will uh, allow me to get 75 Mining in just a moment, which I will do after I get those points. And after that, I think I'll just get Summoning and then we will be left with Agility. So yeah, 
we are pretty much close and I think I should be able to get the plague sand done in this episode. So now I guess let's not waste any more time and let's go do that cabbage buns minigame. And beautiful boys, just finished my using those bonus points, I guess, and that's buy more bonus XP. Oh, and XP per point increased now, I guess, with the level as well. So yeah, let's buy first batch, which is 90k XP, beautiful. And now 341 more points. Wait, what? I just fucking... What do you mean I don't have the points? Oh, there we go, and 31k more points. So yeah. 120k more bonus XP and I am pretty sure this well it might be you know a bit less than I need but I will just finish anyways because I, w I shouldn't miss too much so now I guess let's go finish off that mining grind. Hey and there we go another level completely missed this because well I am watching Westworld right now because my friend recommended to do that so yeah I guess one more level you guys let's quickly see if we have enough bonus XP yes we do even more than we need actually so yeah, let's knock out the last level. And starting my morning, I guess, with a farming level, 72 farming, and I just managed to see the message for the level that is required to start farming Calpot, I guess. That is nice, it said, sadly, I don't have any seeds. And another level as well, 74 hunters, so three more levels, boys, and we can start doing those beautiful green walls. And the grind is over, I guess. Let's just mine one more granite rock. And there we go, boy. 75 mining. Fucking beautiful. There we go. Plagues and requirement is completed. So what we have left now is free summoning levels and free agility levels. As I said, I checked and I, uh, I do have enough charms for 75 summoning. So... I think that's what I will go ahead and do next because it won't take much time at all and after that all we need to do is grind some agility so I am pretty confident that tomorrow is the day we will unlock this beautiful elf city now I guess off to that summoning grind. Okay actually one little problem I completely forgot about is this is summoning so I need spirit shots and for spirit shots we do need freaking money. I haven't done any combat in combat in three or four days, so yeah, my cash stack is completely out, I guess. So I guess I need to go and camp some spiritual mages quickly to make like a few mills. So yeah, let's do this. Hey, and there we go for 77 range, I guess still grinding that GP for summoning. Also got 76 earlier, but I pretty much wasn't able to record because the music was so loud you couldn't guys even hear you wouldn't even heard me. But yeah, um, I guess uh, I will make another mill and that should be enough for 75 summoning after, you know, I sell all the shards after I stop the pouches and shit. So yeah, I guess I will be right back after one mill cash. Oh, and a HP level. I was not expecting this at all, but I'll take it. And this should be it. There we go, guys. Level 73. So two more levels. And there we go for another one, level 74, so obviously now this is the level for granite lobster as you guys can see. So I actually forgot that I need to cut the granite to the smaller brick, so I guess I will quickly go ahead and chisel some granite and we will get that 75 summoning. And there we go guys, last inventory, so let's quickly do it and... There we go, 75 freaking, almost said hunter, I don't know why, but yeah, oh, hermit crab, um, but yeah, 75 summoning is one of the requirements for plagues and beautiful, so yeah, I guess there we go for another one, all we have left now is 75 agility and we are done, so I thought I would, you know, do the plague send on this episode, but sadly I won't be able to do that because, well, I have way too many clips and I just don't want to make a 20 minute episode, I guess. But anyways, I guess thank you guys very much for watching. In the next episode, we will definitely get that 75 agility and the quest completed. And we can enter and we will actually enter that beautiful Prithendinas. Uh, I actually haven't seen Prithendinas in a while because I haven't logged in in my main since like months or whatever. But yeah, I guess, as I said... Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.